Louie. Hey, Louie. Hey, man. What's up, hey, Louie? What are you doing nice in town? To Louis C.K., everyone. <laughs> what are you doing in town? I live in New York. Oh, that's <laughs> I right. live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Penn's new movie called uh, Tim's Vermeer. This thing is fascinating, to okay. say the least. A friend of mine painted a Vermeer without ever painting before. Using a using a device. And he made a movie. That, uh, Don't you have to be it. Vermeer to paint a Vermeer? <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Uh, almost by definition, right. it's not a Vermeer if <laughs> yeah, someone else exactly. paints it. So it is. We are using some sloppy yeah. language there, Louis. Yeah. And thanks for busting us on that. Hence, yeah. Tim's Vermeer. I Tim's Vermeer. A Van Halen song last night. <laughs> 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 Louis Van Halen. <laughs> Louis Van Halen. <laughs> Louis Van Halen. <laughs> Louis Halen. Yeah, you're really supposed to be Vermeer to paint. Hey, you know what I'm addicted to watching uh, is your. Um, it would be funny if it was totally unrelated. Yeah. I'm totally into Downton Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, your show. Um, bullshit. No, the one bullshit. that. The fool, you fool, fool us, yeah. Fool us. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's totally. We're addictive. actually, it's actually yeah. coming out on uh, CW. They're going to show all the uh, English, it's English shows. right? It's yeah. from BBC. We did it, we did it over in uh, England, actually, Channel 4. It's really good, but we're doing uh, mm. the uh, the English. It's exactly like the Beatles right. in this one way. Uh, <laughs> the nine <laughs> shows we did over in England become ten shows over here, mm. uh, right? Because of more commercial time and yeah. so on. So, like but, the way Beatles albums were re. Well, sure. remember yeah. yesterday and today. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday and today yes. is the Beatles record that doesn't exist in England, only over here, right. and that's mm. why the Beatles did Butcher cover right. because they thought they were butchering the records by putting a couple songs off to make more money in the U.S. Right. <laughs> That's right. Nothing to do with that. Butcher cover is worth a lot of money now. Yeah, have, the butcher cover. I have now. two of them. You do? I have one because when uh, I went into interviews and they said, if I wanted to know all the secrets to your show, uh, what would you give up all the secrets for? And I said, if I have an unpeeled, sealed beetle butcher cover, <laughs> I so want crazy. it in mint condition. No <laughs> By the way, there are 10 in the world. I want one of them. Wow. You give me one of those, I will tell you how every secret in the show is done. You sit down with me, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> nice. I, gave that to I you? said that I said that in an interview, said that in a bunch of interviews, thought it was really, really funny. About three weeks later... <laughs> No. There came a beetle butcher cover, beautifully packed with everything everything there. I pulled it out, held it up. There was a note with it that said, love teller, now shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so teller got me the beetle butcher cover. So and just wait, put an end on that. It's the one you don't need. It's... It it has the new cover. It has yesterday today, and you hold it up to the light, and, and you, you can see, see the butcher Ringo uh, Ringo's uh, black turtleneck, mm. and you can right. see him holding a bloody doll. Right. How and much is it worth? You think? How much? I don't know now. I mean, when John Lennon was shot, I was like, yes. Short Harrison Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Harrison is dead. I'm waiting till the other two kick it, yeah. and then yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, probably thousands, not tens of thousands. Yeah. Right. Wow. That's yeah. pretty cool. I never to take it to the Pawn Stars place, then they'll be like, ah, yeah. we got to frame it. <laughs> ah, you know, there's no real market. The Beatles no. weren't a very popular band. <laughs> ah, ten bucks. Yeah. I, I I think, I'm so glad you like Fool Us. I'm I so love glad watching it. Have you seen any other? Have you guys seen it? No. Guys, no, not that one. No. You would see it illegally, like, uh, like, okay. uh, like on YouTube. Does. I watch oh, it yeah. on YouTube. Uh, uh, right. I'm going to go check uh, that out. Uh, the gag is magicians. We did this all legit. There was no, there was no, uh, I mean, we were kind of nuts about how legit we were. Yeah. We, we, we were separate rehearsal days. And, right. And uh, magicians come out and do a trick for us once live, Teller and I watching it. They do it once live in front of a live audience, and then Teller and I have a minute or two to talk about it. And if we cannot figure out how the trick is mm. done, they get a shit ton of money <laughs> and get to fly to Vegas and open for our show. Oh, yeah. cool. Pretty cool. Um, and uh, as it went on, and as it got more popular in England, it was pretty successful over there, uh, people started writing tricks just to fool us. Just to oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and uh, they didn't care at all about entertaining the audience. <laughs> right. They were just trying to fool us. Right. And I don't know if you saw these bastards from um, from uh, the Netherlands, I think. They were they the that the guy wrapped his face in tape or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, those guys, yeah. they did a move that they didn't do. 
which made me crazy. He uh, brought his hand over the deck and palmed off a card when he didn't have to. Oh, so we so you got, got that him. thrown in and think it's some <laughs> part it's of the... It's all about fooling them now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not yeah. about the trick anymore. They didn't care at all wow. about the trick. Mm-hmm. And our good friend, Johnny Thompson, is the best magic mind alive. He's just a, a genius. Right. Uh, he was in charge of helping them. So they would say that for the, for the good of the show, probably... One out of every ten magicians should fool Penn and Teller. So Johnny would go back and go, I know Penn doesn't know about this move. <laughs> I'll put this in there. And so they were being directed and helped and stuff. I, th- it's, I think it's the best show uh, we've wow, done. It's pretty great. Is it there was come to one guy who he that. had these cards. Like he, The way he guessed the card was that he fanned them, and then it spelled out. What the card was? Oh yeah, uh, the, the, uh, guitar, thinking, the guy from uh, you, Montreal. But I, thought, I thought I figured it out. Uh, I don't think you did. You don't think so? Because no. I think he has a deck made that, uh, depending on what the card is. Yes, he has. It he has out. He has four outs. Right, exactly. He's uh, got the he's got yeah. the color. Right, and the higher but low. It's, it is a combination, and in magic. The hardest tricks to figure out are the tricks with multiple outs. Right. Which means mm. the punchline you see is not the punchline it's going to be every right. time. Right. So you're trying to figure out how can you do this trick every time. Mm. And he's got another five tricks he can do, and you don't know when he's going to fork. Oh, because wow. he's got, I figured out, he's got this deck, and since it's white on all sides, yeah, yeah, yeah. he doesn't have a front or back problem. Right. right. So as soon as he asks somebody, is, the, is, is it red or black, then he just does this yeah. value. Yeah, and then he's got, he's and then got, he's a, got, he's got like, another is it you know, higher low? Just do this, kind but he of also had that again. box uh-huh. at the table just to the, fuck this up. Yeah, does yeah. it a certain? Yeah. And then he had this box that he kept talking about the box. Yeah, and so uh, uh, these guys decided it's it's the box. The box <laughs> is the thing, right. and so he opens the box and the box says no. <laughs> So he had a clever way of saying "fuck you." <laughs> yes, he knew exactly, exactly. And some of the guys would come out and uh, do a fabulous routine, and then look at us and go, "Yeah, I, I know you got it. Thanks. Good night." <laughs> Not really. I'm on TV already. I'm on yeah. TV. But what they got? Didn't it. they blow the trick by telling you how well, they see, get it? That's or no? what we did. They were told backstage. They were told backstage. The producers told them if if Penn and Teller get it, they will. Uh, tell you they got it, and they will give you little hints. And if you believe they really got it, be polite, walk away. <laughs> they will never bust your trick. If you, uh, if you make you them push, prove it, you're going to lose. <laughs> your you're if you push, lose your trick. Yeah. Yeah. Pen yeah. will take you out. <laughs> yeah. So don't. And there's one guy who was doing. He did a beautiful routine. I don't yeah. know if you saw. He did coins across and hands. He had two audience members hold their hands out, them. and he moved coins across here and there. Right. Mm. So uh, he finishes up, and it was a beautiful routine. I mean, it killed. It destroyed. Destroyed, and he was kind of uh, kind of punk goth type guy. And Teller and I go to our little discussion where the audience can't hear. And Teller goes, um, "The coin shells are magnetic, and the big kind of ring on his left hand is a magnet, and he's pulling them off with that, so he doesn't have to palm and can hold his hands flat. It's the ring that's magnetized." Okay, so uh, I go, uh, "Yeah, okay, cool." So they come to us. You know, the audience hasn't heard this, and I go, "Oh man." Great routine. Never seen that done that well. That's great. Uh, I think we've got it. I think we have it. He goes, well, I don't think you do. And I go, yeah, okay. Well, uh, what I'm asking is, would you be able to do that in a different wardrobe than you're wearing? Right. And he says, uh, yes, I could. And I go, okay. Uh, Would you be able to do it with with, uh, different jewelry, changing your watch and so on? He goes, my watch has nothing to do with it. it. That's right. That's right. Your watch has nothing to do with it. But I'm just saying, if you were doing it with no jewelry at all would the trick still work and he goes I don't know. And I go, listen, <laughs> asshole, you've got a magnetic ring on your left hand. It's the big one that looks like the devil. They're all shells on top of the coins. You're pulling the coins out. That's the way you did it. Get off the stage. Nice. <laughs> and the guy is just totally heartbroken. Oh, well, and he was, the, he was the yeah. only one that we really ripped the new asshole because yeah. we told dick. him. Right. The magician yeah. Yeah, shitty hint taker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's usually this really careful. Was it a trick? And the guy's like, yeah, 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 that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it was> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Yeah, there were, there were those. And there was someone else. And I really, I really should should tip this, but I'm going to figure it's away from their act, and enough people won't put it together. Sure, but, right. but the one that made me laugh the most was we. Uh, it was a, a guy and a woman, I guess, and the guy vanished on stage and appeared in the back of the theater. All right. Okay? And it was a really good trick. And they were like 19 years old. Okay? And they were good. They finished the whole act, and uh, tell, her, t- tell her and I look at each other. We didn't say a word. We just look at each other. I go, okay, we got it. And we come back to the guy, and I go... If Teller and I weren't old and fat, yeah. if we were 19 and could run as fast as you could and could do everything as fast as you could, could we do this trick? And the guy goes, well, I don't know. And I go, <laughs> right, okay. Let me tell you, uh, I, have, uh, I have an older sister and Teller's an only child. <laughs> if we go. could run as fast yes. as you, could we do this trick? Well, uh, is there a genetic component <laughs> to your trick? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, he said, uh, I don't know exactly what that question means. Oh, yes, I said, you is do. there someone else in your family that appeared in this trick that not everyone here is aware of? <laughs> And he goes, I don't know what. I said, okay, here's what's going to happen. You are twins, identical twins. The guy in the back, the guy I'm talking to now is not the guy that started the trick. You are twins. And you are 19 years old. And you are magicians. And you have a whole career ahead of you. And I'm not willing to blow it. So what we're going to do right now is to only blow it for this audience here. We're going to go back to be saying, could we do this trick? And you're going to say no. And then you're going to smile. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, you're going to go away, okay? Because I'm the nicest guy in the right. world. You, cut him oh, you understand bear, that? Man. And he goes, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, okay, audience, back to the applause. And there's no director in I'm just doing this uh-huh. on my own. Director. And then the, the director comes to me and goes, I really want to use the hunk of you yeah, no shit. saying they're a twin. I go, I, I, really, I, really, I really think we shouldn't. Yeah. You want yeah. wreck their careers. Yeah, well, what if they can't I'm use sure that they, again. And I'm sure they used uh, the, that twin thing in more than just one trick. Right. Sure. Uh, fucking yeah, girls. Kind of good, yeah. well, no, for the yeah. rest of their lives. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. there is a famous magician you who is do, a twin, you could, and you, you don't know it. The great Dan Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you could do worse, though, than dissuading a couple of 19-year-olds from being magicians. Absolutely. <laughs> That's true. Or you could, the two of you twins, they you might could just go, go into get porn. A skill that is actually... <laughs> you could go into porn and make some real money. That's right. That's right. right. A more You're noble, twins, for Christ's sake. noble career. <laughs> I wonder wow. if there's any magic porn. I wonder if there's porn that involves sure. wow. sleight of hand. Let me just... You have uh, you thought of it, right? Well, just now. So there's a porn version of it. Right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. Were, the twi- right. were they identical or fraternal? Uh, they were close enough to fool very, 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 very close. Yeah. That, was a, that was such a bad joke, I actually had a real explanation on it. <laughs> so there's, there's, but there's a magician out there that's like well-known, yeah. Yeah. well-known magician that has an identical twin. Yeah. That's and, hilarious. Uh, th- there, was a, there was a performance in uh, uh. Tahoe where that twin was injured and all of a sudden the other guy identical in the same outfit ran out to help him and you saw a very <laughs> oh, no confused oh, that going a- uh oh because you know they wouldn't travel together and the guy you know wears a baseball hat yeah. and they, they're not ever in the same hotel and they keep everything separate and the other guy you know this one guy that is all the talk and the other guy is just the double it's just you know it's just this okay that's my job i'm the fucking twin i wow. go around the rest wow. of the time. and of course you have to remember that the guy who did all the talking up front right is the talented good talker uh-huh. and the guy who appears in the back is the idiot Wow. So when I'm giving them the explanation, I'm talking to the idiot. And the other guy is in the back going, shut the fuck up! You moron! He's done backstage. You're ruining my... 
<laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. My bro, I just my brother told me stand over there. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, he probably actually doesn't know what he does. It's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> he just goes like, I'll stand just there. fucking stand here. Oh, Put man. your when that when that when the light goes on, you make a big ta-da thing. <laughs> I'll stand here. People oh, no. stop the clapping. <laughs> the oh, visual is twin easy. losing his mind backstage. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. <laughs> we have to take a break, unfortunately. Uh, okay, um, yeah, we do. Where, what's your schedule? I'll do. I'll go. I'll go away. I'll do whatever you want. Uh -oh. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out during the break. Uh, Fuck it. Uh, Penn Jillette, Tim's Vermeer. That opens up uh, this weekend, right? That seems pretty fucking cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Go see what that a movie. dedicated, fucking obsessed yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. We like to see yeah. movies about wow. crazy people. Yeah. Right. And Louis uh, surprised us today. This is yes. awesome. Well, so. I knew he was coming, but I kind of kept it under my hat right. as a surprise. Oh, I just came to, to talk to him. To yeah, Penn. <laughs> <Pen. laughs> exactly. no, my Katie. movie starts tomorrow on my website. I came by to tell you about it. Oh. So, what so movie? movie? What movie? It's called Tomorrow Night. It's a movie I made back in 98, and it's All on right, my website starting that. tomorrow at noon. Yeah. Oh, I wow. never got it released. Steve Carell is in it. J.B. Smooth. Uh, Amy Poehler for about 10 seconds. Um, yeah, I made it way. It's my first movie. I read about Never got that. Distributed. People are like, oh, Louis got a new movie. That's yeah. an old movie. Yeah. Oh shit! Cool. Yeah. We'll talk about that next. <laughs> Pendulette's probably gonna hang out, so uh, stay there. All right, guys. The Opie and Anthony Show will be right back on Sirius XM. Yes! You absolutely can't. No, no, no. Dan, we, Dan, Dan. For the record, we did not kick uh, Penn Jillette out. He had to go. He had yep. to go and do other press for Tim's Vermeer. Yeah. Which looks like a fascinating movie. Very cool. Absolutely. And uh, Louis C.K. surprised us today. This is Boy. awesome. Hello, fella. I was just talking about you the other day because I'm a huge fan of... Um, Comedians in cars getting coffee. Oh, yeah, that's and your episode right. was really really good. Oh, thanks And how you described getting high and going to the movies was yeah. amazing <laughs> Yeah, and I think I want to smoke pot now because of that. Oh, yeah, that was well, funny because it's been many years Yeah, since... no, I've got it down to this exact science. <laughs> yeah, the, the theater I go to there's an elevator That's you that takes you straight to the IMAX. You don't have to go through the whole theater Ooh. And I've got it. I have the whole thing down to an exact. This is how I do this. Yeah, I haven't done it for a little while you know exactly when gravity. to time it. Gravity yeah, was, was fucked smoking. up. Gravity. That didn't the, freak you out a little bit? Well, 3D IMAX high. Like, you know how they have those logos? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It should say, like, 3D IMAX high <laughs> is the best yeah. way to see a movie like Gravity. Yeah. I didn't otherwise like, I didn't, I didn't like the performances. Right. And I didn't know why these are the people that were in the movie were being called the astronauts right yeah yeah, yeah. it's two people and yeah. you could have gotten anybody they should have just had it wouldn't two wouldn't have been these two you know terrific <laughs> made great contributions to <laughs> theater of the right. screen yes of course but why fill their faces with chemicals to make sure they look like astronauts i mean you could get there's so many people Right, right. And also right. the idea that she's like a reluctant astronaut. There's no such <laughs> <Right>. thing <laughs> as like someone's like, oh, I mean, the other thing didn't work out, so Real I'm an luck. astronaut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I an astronaut space. was something to fall back on. Yeah, oh, I'm so stressed you know, out when I'm in space. Like, yeah. like a trade. <laughs> yes. You know, eh. this is what would happen if you're like, whatever, what she's some scientist. Mm -hmm. You go to NASA for, if, if you got a, a interview. Yeah. Uh, okay, you be her, okay? All right. And I'm going to ask you about how you feel about the program and be sound a slight, a little hesitant. Okay. Okay, so how are you excited to try out to be an astronaut? Get the yeah. fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> there's a fucking, there's a, the best, the greatest people alive do this. Right. Everybody Get wants that gig. Here. And it's their dream from the second they yes. left the womb. Right. All they want to do is That's go right. into they space. They never gave up on <laughs> being an astronaut. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yes. If, it's, if you're obsessed with being an astronaut and you are the, and you are the best at everything that you do, yeah. you're still going to wash out and not get to space. Right, yeah. right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And yet this fucking like, oh, <laughs> and I get vertigo. No, you don't. 
fuck you. <laughs> and again, you know, I don't know, whatever. And then, oh, but, but you know, when you're that fucking stoned, <laughs> yeah, and it, you're in the picture, and you're going yeah. inside of the helmet, looking at the world from inside the helmet. It's all that's it's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Not a freak it, out though. You're not a freak out pot guy where it's like ah, this is like fucking freaking me out. No, because I don't. Because they're not. They don't know I'm watching them, so they're not interacting with me. If I, I interact with human beings who are oh, looking at me, freak I don't out like a little bit. That would okay. be the thing. Yeah, the vastness of space thing would get me a little. No, I, I could think. fall right into that. Yeah, I was yeah. Okay. Wow. Except for I was getting also irritated by the uh, lack of truth with the physics. Because it's, oh, they okay. had an opportunity to teach people physics. You're right. Where did they it, fail? Were they really off? Of there was a couple of times where they said they were off, like when they were holding each other's fingers. They said all she would have had to do in real life was just pull back gently and he would have come right back. That's right. There's yeah, the, the, that's the whole, true. basically, the entire crux of the the drama of the movie yeah. was a giant fuck you to physics. Of physics. The idea that paw. she's holding him and there's some force pulling him more and more, like an increasing force from what? There's nothing. There's no centrifugal force, was it? No, was I don't he, think so. Were they so. spinning? Nope. No, they weren't. Oh, they weren't then, spinning. Yeah. Okay. Well, although if she pulled like a that. A teeny bit, he would have come right back. But and they, also when she she's would have gone spinning, forward, too. When she's spinning, yeah. and uh, she's going, ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah. oh, God! Oh, God! Close your fucking eyes. Close them. <laughs> There, you're not. You won't. You, she, you're not feeling it. You're not feeling yourself oh, right. spin. Uh, right, right, Close right. your eyes. Yeah, that's all because you have to do. Because the Earth is doing this. It's all relative. Right. Close your eyes, like the Earth. So sixty seconds. Yeah, you, she wouldn't even have to be reminded. But even, if, <laughs> honey, close your eyes. All right. Okay, good. I'm good. <laughs> Everything's fine I'm now. I'm good. <laughs> That's a good yeah. point. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought of that as I was, if I was spinning away into nothing to see either. She probably just forgot. She forgot. Yeah, no, she's clumsy and uh, yeah. forgetful. Hesitant. She's like Lucy. In the, in the <laughs> 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 so just... When George asked her where she's from, like, wouldn't they know all that? Yeah, that, that, know. that yeah. took me out of the movie. I'm like, yeah. they would know all that oh, yeah. before they kids? went up there. Right, but yeah. yeah. So tell me about yeah. you. Where are you they from? They would know yeah. everything about Every each detail. Other. What do they talk about during the training? He just kept saying, your cunt stinks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he talked about in the training. Is our that cunt. was the first thousand things he said. Yeah. One thousand and one was where you from. Yeah, where do you have from? Any kids ever fall out of that dump? <laughs> yeah, and guess what? If you have like a background that's uh, edgy, like your son died, right. and they also, they were, you know, we're not putting you in space. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, going to yeah, come up. That could be a problem. Yeah, yeah. It's going to come up. You're right. going to bum everybody out with that shit. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't need you up there all of a sudden waxing no. fantastic about your kid. No. Mm, worth Fucking things up. No, well, you billions know. of dollars that shit costs up there. They had a, yeah, they had They a need boring, steel, fucking nerved people. Right. You ever watch some of those guys on camera when they're doing having the spacewalk like they've got to replace that giant cooling unit that's the size mm -hmm. of a refrigerator their dialogue back and forth is just the most mundane technical dull yes. right. yeah. fucking bah, the bolt is out right bah, well like right. if you ever listen to uh, uh black box recordings to fall asleep yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you ever jack off to black box <laughs> yes, recordings yes, yes. <laughs> yeah voice recording yes though. they have them on, some on youtube and i've stuff. seen i I've, I've actually was was listening to some of those just last week yeah Jeez. Jesus. It's their, yeah. their well, they, they are the, the pilots, are going, right? even yeah. in the worst conditions, are yeah. steel until yeah. the very last second. Yeah, then you got They're the like, old, okay, ah! we're going to try this, we're going to try this, uh, this didn't work, this didn't work, the wing came off, we're going down, <laughs> we're going to work 50 yards from the ground. <laughs> 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 it's the last sound. It's like, ah! It is the last. But they're not but right panicking. Yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, we'll yeah. try this, we'll yeah. try this. Yeah. That's what all pilots are like. And people in space are like the point oh 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 one percent best of, of that. those people, right? Right. <laughs> that's, so, Crazy. that's exactly what it was. That guy so. Sully, who landed the plane on the Hudson, yeah, yeah, yeah. steel nerves. He would have uh, washed out. He would have never made it. Never would have made it to no. space. Yeah. Something fucked up there. Yeah. He, he would have been fucked. But like, meanwhile, in the plane, he, bah, nah, nothing. we're not going to make it. We're in the river. Yeah, bah. exactly. We're, we're going to try calm. the river. We're going to try the river. <laughs> we're going to try, try the river. river. That's right. literally what he said. Right. Well, I like your boat. They show oh, the yeah, boat yeah. in the. In oh the, yeah, yeah. A, that's nice vessel. That's my summer. That's where I spend my summer. That's Is awesome. That yeah. yeah. And where do you go with that? I go up uh, the Hudson, Hudson River. Oh okay. Yes. And then I go out the Long Island Sound. Oh right. Was that take a trip the, uh, they call that? You can go out in the ocean, but the ocean's trickier. I'm going up. My experience. The river yeah, seems I'm good like at. Yeah. The river is nothing. The river but it seems just... like it's cool to explore and stuff too. You know? It is a bit. It gets a little mundane up there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but there's some great. 
places that you can easily anchor and swim when Just you get up out. past the Tappan Zee. And there's a mm. few towns that you can, like, you know, pull up to a dock and get ice cream, you know, and uh, my mm. kids love it. And then the, uh, the Long Island Sound, though, I went to Martha's Vineyard last summer and back. With the boat? Yeah. Oh, that's wow. like the entire sound, yeah. Yeah, that's, you go How out. How long does to, that take from where you're docked? You can do it pretty fast, or you can go, I mean, I, I, I went out there about in about four days. With the kids, and you stop in That's a bunch awesome. of places, <laughs> mm. and you know the boat's got you can eat on it, right. and cook on it. So I just li- I mean, last summer I lived on the boat for about a month. Like wow. I didn't get, I didn't, Jesus Christ. I slept on That's it every great. night for a month out, up the river, out the sound. I just stayed out of the city. You just stayed yeah. on it for a month straight. Yeah, two weeks with my kids, two weeks with that. That's kids. awesome. Just by yourself. Yeah, part of it by myself. Oh. Did you see Redford's uh, movie with where he's on the little sailboat? Yeah, I hated it. I hated it. <laughs> Thank you. I hated it. I did it. too. It was a piece of shit movie. What a fuck it. Like, I kind of got like at the very beginning with the shipping container and everything. Yeah. I'm like, like, oh, okay. This is yeah, a but little... you know he dies. Well, yeah. You know that it's worthless. Right. Yeah, because they kind of the, the pre- popped that be- at the beginning. Because the mo- be- movie starts with none of this worked. I tried everything, none of it worked. And then, okay, yeah. so here's the first thing didn't work, which was bailing out and, you know, fixing the hole. Right. He's right. also a fucking asshole. The whole, I was screaming at the screen the whole movie because he tries the radio for like a minute. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, eh. I would be on that, especially yeah, if you started getting a little something. Yeah, and also, you don't just hail your fucking, this is my ship's name. Nobody gives this no shit. No one cares. Hey, <laughs> Mayday. I'm Mayday. Fucking... Mayday. Right, you're right. If, if you say, I'd be falling asleep with my hand on that switch saying mayday mayday, <laughs> mayday. Yeah, your voice. because if somebody hears mayday slightly they know what the there's a problem yes because these radios the vhf radios have a limited radius uh-huh so if somebody hears mayday they know within five miles of me somebody's in trouble yeah and there'd be helicopters swarming yes. and also like the ship comes he's reading the directions on his fucking <laughs> player <laughs> And then he pops one, and the ship is still like 90 feet away, and he's like, yeah, I don't think they see me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and die. <laughs> and then the one thing he does that is the stupidest, but like when he puts the makes the fire in the little tub, in the little tub I thing. go, okay, he's doing this because he's going to float the tub out into the water. Why wouldn't you put it in the water? Why are you making the fire in your rubber raft, <laughs> you stupid fucking idiot? That was but him giving up. If you're going to make a fire in your raft and set the whole thing into a ring of blaze, yeah. there's a ship right there. Give it 10 minutes to see if the ship Don't comes. just fucking Before sink you go, beneath. Oh, I'm going to go he into really water now. He really did just give up. Yeah. yeah. Too Asshole. many times. And Asshole. and and uh, well, the the guy that made the movie, what was his name? Uh, I can't Robert Redford. No, the, <laughs> he got. Uh, he was like, oh well, the ending is left open to interpretation. Oh, is it? Did he die or did he or not? Was that die? the hand of the filmmaker's best friend? Right. I don't give a shit who it was. <laughs> Stupid Hollywood. Stupid Hollywood trying to give you a little give you a little extra. Hope. Yeah, Boom. that's dumb. You say he's dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> I really hope that character's dead. <laughs> he wasn't even being careful. I have careful. on my boat, like, that guy's some kind of a jillionaire. I have on my boat this plastic, looks like a Fisher Price thing. Yeah. Everybody that comes on my boat, I tell them if you're the only, if we're sinking. Yeah. Mm. Grab this and don't let press this one big red button. And there's the and beacon. Don't let and... go. If you press that button, fucking people will come and find the button. <laughs> they and all it does, come. Yeah, and it's water sealed. It doesn't. You know, it's an impervious to anything. Yeah. Why device. did he have that? Costs about well, because he can't afford it. You know, it's like it's like a subscription of about twenty dollars a year. Yeah. And uh, the, the unit itself out. is about $118. Uh-huh. <laughs> you got a sat phone? Yeah. What? You got no, a no. sat phone? I don't have one yet because I haven't been out in the open water like that. I still have only been in places where. Yeah, you could get I've, a cell I've lost, signal. like, between Block Island and Martha's Vineyard is the longest expanse that I've done. Yeah. And you lose sight of land for a few minutes. Like, you're out yeah, in the yeah. open. And the ocean is hitting you broadside. It's hard. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I've always gone out. A little further than I'm comfortable with, a little at a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go out and then I freak myself out a little and then I come back. Come back. But now I can get to Martha's Vineyard on my own, so I know how to do that. That sounds awesome. So, you reading little... charts, are you? Yeah. Reading charts. Reading some charts. I always keep that. I mean, I have a GPS. Yeah. But 
and it has a chart system in it. Mm-hmm. But the boat was built in 2004, so the navigation equipment, I mean, 2004 in technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, no, that's yeah. crazy. That's old, right? So my iPad gets me everywhere I'm going. <laughs> Fucking iPad. That's iPad cool. has a thing called I, iNav X, it's just an app. Yeah. It has the entire. American coastal water. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And I can literally, I can jump on the boat with my iPad. Yeah. I keep two on board for redundancy. I sure. keep one plastic wrapped in a place where a fucking shipping container can't <laughs> destroy can't all my... Fuck Let me it keep up. everything right next to the gunwale, like right next to... <laughs> <laughs> just in no waterproofing so anything. So if anything hits it, you yeah. know, it's, it's sure to drench it with water. Yeah. He try. It's like keeping a coffee cup on your fucking laptop. He's <laughs> yeah, it's eventually, it's going to tip yeah. over. And but yeah, my iPad up. can get me anywhere I want to go. That's and it's awesome. that amazing? Because it's not very long ago you needed that stupid fucking star thing and That's the right. charts. Yes. And you're but like, I, I, keep, I keep the paper charts and I use the Ritchie compass, which is a basic compass. Yeah. So I keep referring to those because mm-hmm. I do think at some point you if all the know shit how shut to down do on me. You'll right. Know. I can do it. I could get myself home from anywhere. Yeah, using the the you know the markers that are in the water and a, a compass and a chart. Mm-hmm. Can't they uh, get like a fucking satellite thing of that so you'll never lose reception? Isn't like a satellite instead of a yeah, satellite but you phone. can lose power. GPS, There's all kinds got, of yeah. stuff that can happen. Uh, mm-hmm. And also in some weather, GPS starts to fail. Yeah. So you always keep the paper charts and you keep, you know, because it's not just about where you're going. Like there is a part of uh, when you come out of New York Harbor, when you go out the Long Island Sound after the Whitestone Bridge. um, uh, No, the Throg's next. That's the Uh last one. Yeah. Then you're in the Long Island Sound and there's this huge expanse of water. You go out to City Island and out to the Sound. I didn't read the chart right the first time I did it, oh. and I went flying through this big. And there's no other boats <laughs> except for little fishing boats, and all the guys are looking at me, <laughs> like kind of shaking doing? their heads. Uh-oh. What is he doing I've got here? This big fucking boat with a five foot draft. <laughs> you yeah, don't belong there. Yeah. No, oh, and then no. I look through it under because you can't tell from the surface. Mm-hmm. Underwater, there's rocks that are like within an inch of the surface. Oh, holy shit! And there's just you know, you should put a 13 year old blonde boy on the front to let him navigate for you, and then. <laughs> Hit a rock, and then you could have molested him when the fucking Catherine Hepburn came with a sandwich. <laughs> exactly. But I know I was just very lucky that I flew through there without yeah. destroying. I easily could have destroyed the boat. Jesus, uh, it's it gets scary sometimes in uh, a little bit of weather when when it, the boat slams down, you get that bam, yeah, it's bam, bam, brutal. bam, and it's like really loud, and you're thinking this thing's gonna break. Yes, it's gonna break. <laughs> no, I've had a few times on the boat where I've thought uh, I'm gonna go home and I'm never gonna do this again. <laughs> a Wherever little scare. Wherever I dock this thing, I'm gonna put a sign on it for sale <laughs> so, like, and I'm gonna take the train home. You got a little scared a couple of times? Sure, very yeah, scared. Yeah. The very first scared. time I wow. went to Block Island, I scared the shit out of myself. Really? Was yeah. it was the weather nice or was it just well, it's too the big? Well, the waves were enormous for oh, me. Oh, right. I thought they were uh, like four or five foot waves was probably like two feet. But it's rolling, a lot of rolling. Well, you're slapping up and Slamming, down. You don't feel yeah. like you're moving. And, uh, oh, right. You know, Block Island Ba-ba. is like this little sliver of brown, it's and like, it looks so I far could away. Miss that. <laughs> but this is why sailors drink, because then you get there and you're in this calm. You go into the protected cove and yeah. it's calm, and you throw an anchor and you're okay now. And yeah. you just want. Relief. Like, like a bottle of whole rum. Bottle of whiskey. Yo ho ho. And yeah. then. <laughs> you were you dreading sh- the ride back? Were you like, oh, yeah, fuck, I gotta leave this safety. I'm getting ready to go. I'm start- I realize I'm starting to breathe heavy. And I'm <laughs> yeah, to a little anxi- this anxiety. Is gonna fucking suck. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But I've done that <laughs> so many times. Like, there's a place called Plum Gut where you go from Long Island Sound into the ocean, mm-hmm. and those two bodies of water meet oh, in this yeah, bizarre end-of-the-world-looking <laughs> roiling. <laughs> wow. It's two different currents, and they are total- and they meet like in a, a line. <laughs> and you got to cross over. And you them. have to cross over that line, and there's oh. a little thin, uh, a narrow little channel with rocks on one side and all these hazards. <laughs> Just danger. And your boat can't, your propellers can't really find the footing because there's all this spinning Yeah, currents. yeah. So you just kind of have to hope through it. <laughs> and uh, the first time I did it, yeah, it scared the living uh, shit out of me. And I was alone, just yelling loudly out loud in wow. my, my boat. I but now I know Plum that. Gut. I just know it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah you it's become nothing accustomed now. Now it's easy for it's you. Like Cape horn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for you, it's you want to take a nice yeah. spin around there, and fucking buy Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the, what oh does a fucking God. what what does a chart have on it? Like, how do you if if, the, if it's cloudy, how do you look at a chart and make any sense out of it? It's just well, water. with the clouds, but the clouds don't. You're not you're looking at the water. You're not. Looking you're not at I'm the, saying, like, what does that tell you though? You, they, I'm I I'm saying the stars. Oh, to oh the charts the are not stars. stars. To, yeah. The charts are what the chart shows you. Because the water is all different depths. Uh, you can be out in open water and it's only one foot deep and you can't boat hmm. there. So there's all kinds of uh, contours to the bo bottom of the... What you're looking at on the chart really is what the uh, is under the surface. <laughs> what it looks like without water. <laughs> yeah, but how do you know that when you're in the on the boat? How do you know what looks like under what you Because, doing? well, first you have to... You use landmarks and certain references, although you can't tell distances <laughs> on the water. Yeah. Everything looks different. <laughs> Uh, but you use a compass, and there's bu there's marker buoys. Uh, you know, yeah. usually sometimes they they have gaps where you're just kind of fucked, and you yeah, just, hope. just there are places where you're like, where, you know, you have binoculars, and you're just have you're trying to see a little green light. There's green and red buoys that mark the shipping channels of all the water anywhere. You have oh, a, all a over the world. GPS navigation where it shows like. Where you're headed, it shows your little yeah. icon, and <clears throat> so you can navigate like that through some of the uh, tighter things that aren't marked. Yes, but then yeah. there's all these tricky things like the compass on the navigation doesn't show true north; it shows magnetic. magnetic north. Yeah, it's all this kind of shit. So yeah, you have to actually yeah. look and find. And sometimes binoculars, you're trying to look through them, and your boat's slamming. Oh up and yeah, down. binoculars you are real. Now you're point. also magnifying the motions. You're getting it's... seasick. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So sometimes you just go. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to go in this direction on the compass until something new gets <laughs> revealed. Wow. Until I learn I, something. I want to take uh, this phone good. call. This guy has a hell of a story. Dan in Maine, go ahead. Yeah, how you doing, guys? Good. I just got a story to add, given the location and the topic you guys are on today. Uh, bringing a wooden fishing boat, about 80 feet long, back from Newport News, Virginia, up the coast. with running a heading of about 69 degrees, and... Uh, we got run over by a tanker 24 miles off Long Island. The tanker was coming down the coast, coming uh, <clears throat> south, and uh, as it turned out, it was on autopilot. There was nobody up on the bridge of the, sh the ship, and uh, they didn't see us, and uh, we had no communication with them, so we just held our heading. Uh, they cut the stern of our boat off clean mm -hmm. and kept on going. Jeez. And, Holy uh, shit. Yeah. Run over by an oil tanker. Four in the morning. And, uh, Could you set your boat on fire boat. and just sink beneath the waves and give up? <laughs> what a oh, fucking right. Good thing you didn't get out of this <laughs> way. You just sat there and played chicken and lost. <laughs> yeah, Terrible yeah. sailor you are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, did you, why yeah. didn't you have time to get out of the way? Yeah. I don't know how that works. Chris with, with a champagne you. bottle, you idiot. Well, he's not a sailboat. I mean, yeah. he's supposed to have oh. the right of way if you're yeah. on your sail. Right. That's good. That's what, that's what your fucking goody two shoe rules get you. Hey, I'll tell someone. Fucking stern. That wasn't by Hoyle. <laughs> <laughs> that so, was a right rotten thing to do. Uh, so, <laughs> right rotten. <laughs> so what'd you do? Yeah. No, uh, well, what, what He's already told us twice underneath off. our talk. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And 500 yeah. times the parties. I <laughs> I lost my stern. Yes, cocksucker. I'm your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what happened, sir? Fast. Uh, the boat sunk in about five minutes, and uh, we got everybody off the boat. Uh, I'm, I'm going over a lot of the details. And sharks and, uh, come cruising. <laughs> yeah, exactly, but it's a lake. Jeff sub uh, slammed two torpedoes into our side, in, chief. <laughs> not one came out. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll the never year 40, 1945. <laughs> yes. I'll never call the Opie and Anthony show again, chief. <laughs> <laughs> So how many people are on this uh, this this boat? Obviously, they consider this fucking this vessel coming a blessing. <laughs> there, was, there was four of us. Oh, okay, and you're all in the water. Then what happened? Uh, we were in the water for a little bit. One of the guys didn't want to jump off. He didn't know how to swim. Finally, went over, got him. The boat sunk, disappeared. Uh, there was a boat coming up the coast about an hour later. Uh, we had one flare left. We were all bobbing in the water. We didn't have a uh, uh, good life raft. We were Jesus. just kind of a half inflated old rubber raft. Uh, not prepared. Fuck yeah. How'd wait, you, wait, 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 wait. How many miles off the coast? I was, we were exactly 24 miles off Long Island. No, you should have swam. Yeah. Where were swam? you? Swam. You were in the ocean? 
Correct. Oh, oh man. I would have lost yeah, my 24 fucking miles out. mind. Oh. 24 miles out, they don't give a fuck. No. Yeah. Those guys. Yeah, uh, we just have, the reason we held that course is because you don't think some, you figure it's going to be a port to port passing. This guy's going his direction. He turned at the last. You know, at the last minute, when you can't communicate with him, you're not exactly sure what he's doing. So uh, it's really it's when just, you see the big boats, <clears throat> they grow what? unbelievably fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable because you can't yeah. judge size. I mean, you re you really on a boat like his, a wooden sailboat. He, you know, you probably didn't have radar. If you have radar, which is hard to read anyway, right. you well, can tell like something looks like it's you know, uh, right there, and you look on radar, it's actually like three miles away. Uh -huh. You can't well, tell, but all of a sudden, before you know it, this fucking thing is right on top of me. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow, you, you have a tough time listening, sir. Yeah, hope your friend yeah. Herbie, Herbie Robinson from Cleveland's okay, <laughs> the baseball player. No, I don't think he's, I don't think oh, not he's okay. Yeah. Yes. Bobbed up like a top. Yeah. Upended. He'd been bitten in half. <laughs> He'd been bitten in half. <laughs> 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 So when did the big old PBY come down and uh, save you? Yeah, yeah, it was about an hour. We were in the water about an hour. The water was about forty degrees. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it, so we had three players. Only one of them worked. He came over and uh, pulled us out of the water. Jesus. Oh, wow. What shitty safety equipment this guy had. Exactly. Couldn't even tie a sheep shank. <laughs> you know, the boat down in, uh, didn't say how you wanted it. <laughs> Want There's a short? an old boat we're bringing It's been a while back. since I had to pass basic seamanship. <laughs> seamanship. Yeah. It's been a while since I had to pass exactly. basic seamanship. I hope you're saying Lady of Spain as they were loading Don't up that truck. Don't have to take this abuse much longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan, we heard, uh, we heard some of your we story. We heard most of your amazing You're, story. Exactly. Of survival. Yes. Yes. You were with some people oh, in the great. water, and the fucking Valdez came by, and, you know. <laughs> yeah, everybody, yeah. Yeah. everybody. Everybody fucking died. Right. Uh, yeah. This guy wants you to subscribe to Sirius uh, for the weather. It saved him many times oh, on, the, that's on the open ocean. Yeah, well. That's when right, the signal you, works. <laughs> All right. So long. All right, Dan. Bye. All right. Good luck. Keep your business on the men. Exactly. But 24 miles out. Yeah. 24 miles out going in the water. That would fucking. Scare the shit out Th of me. Then he sees receipts around the house. His wife paid somebody to fucking steer that <laughs> ship into him. <laughs> Hun, did you hire an oil tanker? It's a long story. <laughs> fucking bore. Fucking oil tanker. Yeah. It's horrible. Bad. They Jesus are very Christ. big, and there's nobody on them looking around. No, no. one's looking. Yeah, when you see those yeah. big cargo ships, it's not like someone's like, yeah, I'm going to hang out on the rail like no. a cruise ship. Yeah. This fucking a conga line to fucking feel He also feel was too hot, close hot. to the <laughs> shipping. Uh, channel. There's right. channels. Yes. The ship. There's roads. Yeah, yeah. It's like standing in the middle of the highway. Yeah. It's like a guy standing in the middle of the highway and going, I don't know what happened. I, I can't believe I got hit by a car. Right, yeah. right. And, and again, that stupid fucking Robert Redford movie. Yes. <laughs> he was very close to the shipping lane. Yes, he was trying to get himself in the shipping lane. Yeah. He had a shot at three ships. <laughs> yes. And he didn't even try to hail. He one. really. It was half-assed. Gave no fucking attempt. Just uh, sounds annoying. Uh, God bothers. And there's no talking. He yells "fuck" once. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Doesn't have an air no horn. Doesn't have. Yeah. yeah. Something Fuck right. You. Right. Fuck Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. This dumb worthless. safety equipment. He bangs his head. He's not even careful. <laughs> what else has been Jesus. up, Louie? Yeah. How's Seinfeld to hang out with when he's not filming? He's a good guy. I'm fascinated guy. by that guy. He's a good guy. He seems like a good guy. Everyone More than is. I've I've heard stories yeah. over the years, but when I'm watching this thing, it seems like he's all right. He he's, has a little edge to him. He loves. Uh, Comedy and he's got he's got kids and he loves comedy. He's a very simple guy, right? You know. Did you brag about your TV show? Did Say I hi. I got a good to the TV. guy who's <laughs> got six hundred million dollars <laughs> in an ashtray at home. Twenty years later, it's <laughs> yeah. still like the number one syndicated yeah, show. Never, never will be eclipsed. It's on no. five times a day. No. <laughs> Yeah, yes. I could work my entire life. I would still never even do. Uh, exactly. Yeah, well, let's let's see him. Let's see him build something from the ground up. <laughs> let's see him go. do that. Six hundred million. You hire a guy like me, regular Joe, <laughs> and he just wants to get coffee. That's all he wants. That's really that's, that's all it. He, wants. he don't care. It's amazing you can do that to be able to just like ah, I'm gonna I'm one of the, grab one of my Porsches and just fucking. Yeah. Just I'm one of the episodes. He, he talks about his agent and how his agent's frustrated by him. I'm he's sure like, you're doing a web series. You know what you could be doing? And Jerry's like, this is what I want to do. Did yeah. it already? Yeah, I did that. He How do you care. fucking? Yeah, he, he can't don't even do another TV show like on television. Mm -hmm. He already. Once you did that, you know. Yeah, that's why. Why go down that road again? Yeah, you've mm -hmm. already been so far down that road. Yeah, yeah. 
It's like Try Buzz Aldrin else. getting on a plane and going to L.A. and going, hey, yeah. look what I did. He, he talks about I'm how stepping off. <laughs> he also talks about how bored he was doing it by the end of it because it was so yeah. easy to do. Yeah, creatively, he was out of his mind. Well, you go bored. to the studio every day, and yeah, sitcoms in L.A. especially that's a very right. sort of cut from a cloth life, you know. It's right. Just, yeah, and you know you're doing the same exact life that. Dick Van Dyke did, and everybody else. Oh, yeah. I think it gets to feel like <laughs> you, start you see your own about death it. pretty fast. <laughs> you start thinking about yeah. it, right? That's a good yeah. point. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I only did. I mean, I had a sitcom for you know this part of a year. Yeah, and I could see where it would be like this. Could you could get old doing this? You could feel really, <laughs> really yeah, yeah. and get cut off. Yeah, and you see somebody who's out in the world, and you're like, hey. What's going on out there? Oh, you know. it's great. I'm, ta I'm taking a sailboat yeah. around the world. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a lot of safety equipment. Yeah. Exactly. Hopefully the fucking life of Pi will call back. <laughs> it's a great story. <laughs> that uh, that clip of you describing the joke, mm -hmm. um, the, the fishing, uh, ice fishing joke. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Finally hearing the end of the joke was... Yeah, I did, took a shit on the ice. He took, 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 took a shit on the ice. I thought it was going to be a little more profound than that. Yeah, I think no, a lot of was, people that was did. It never really added up. I mean, <laughs> and I told... There, there is a scene towards the end of the movie where uh, they call... I don't know if you saw the movie. But yeah, saw yeah. It. When they call Christian Bale in and he says, I don't know where the money is, and they're playing this kind of game. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm in the room. I've got, like, one line where I go, just go home right. to Bradley Cooper. Yeah. There was a version that we <laughs> shot for a whole day of me standing up and making this big... And finishing the ice fishing Finishing story, the joke. Saying, fuck the you story, to Christian yeah. Bale, and taking Bradley Cooper under my arm and saying, come on, I'll take you home. Like, it was this big, brave thing that I did. <laughs> yeah, so for yeah. a whole day... He kept throwing alternate wow. and different versions at me, and I had to do. And I'm like, and I wasn't up to it. I yeah, mean, I'm not that good, and I'm not that important <laughs> in the movie. So he tried to get. I was trying it, and I'm look at Christian Bale, and these people are looking at me, and it's getting sweaty. Like you can smell oh, everybody no. in the room. Like it got really. It was long into the night, Ooh. and I kept trying this version, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's not in the movie. Yeah. But that's where the ice fishing mm. story was supposed to, supposed to be end. ended there. I thought that he had actually guessed it, and you were so annoyed at him, you wouldn't give him credit for it. Like, that's how it came off to me. Like, like he got it, and then you were like, no! Like, you were just a fucking well, no, annoyed that, that he yeah, got The whole it. bit was that I kept moving the gold goalpost of the thing. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, right. It's about your brother. No, it's not about that. I mean, that was the bit we decided when we started doing it, was that I'd keep changing what it was about. <laughs> yeah. He could never figure it out. Um, but then, the end, I was there for a, a ADR for, a you know, when you do recording of your voice for mm -hmm. fixing stuff and they had found that scene that i think was out of the movie for a while of me in the hallway with him and he says oh, okay. brother died and i go my brother died a different way right and then he decided that's just that's how to end it just let that be the end of it. just let it sit there <laughs> yeah. yeah congratulations on american hustle yeah, yeah that was fun it was a lot of fun. that was a good one that was a really good movie too yeah, and uh what's his name it. doing the, just that little impression of you on the couch mm -hmm. is right. fucking he yeah, I didn't see that until I saw the movie. I have it's no idea. It's so he's, funny, I was man. Not in the room, so he's just huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> really. I was fucking laughing my ass over that one. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. God damn. What other? Uh, what, what, what are you working I on? I got this movie that I'm putting on my website tomorrow. Yes. So yes. starting at noon, you can buy it. It's called Tomorrow Night, and uh, it's a feature length movie I made. It went to Sundance and a bunch of festivals when I was 28. Yeah. Jesus. Do you look but, at it now and think like, oh my God, like, yeah, I was like oh, what was I, I thinking? Yes, or, or That's exactly what Really? It, yes. It's pretty fucked up. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's a weird movie. It's got a little heart to it, and it's funny, because like J.B. Smoove, it's the first thing he ever did, because he was wow. just starting as a stand-up, and I was about to start making the movie, and I saw him at the comic strip, and uh, I went home and wrote a part for him, because he was <laughs> so funny. So, uh, J.B. is great in it, and... Uh, and Steve Carell's funny in it, and uh, you know Rick Shapiro has a big part. What in year it is too. it? Damn! And Rick Shapiro's like... in Drag in the movie. He plays an old lady. Jesus! Oh wow, man! Ninety-eight. Okay. Ninety. Sixteen years ago. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, and it's been under my bed all this time. Con Conan's in it for a minute, like he's in it as himself. <laughs> wow! This... And uh, yeah, it's a weird cool. movie, but it is like it's it, there's an old lady in it. Like one of the main characters is an old lady, and people keep saying to her, you, "You're very, very old." <laughs> <laughs> and it's I'm like, why did I do? It's kind of mean. Like it's mean. It's mean. Yeah. Like I wouldn't make that movie now, but it's a, you know it's a product. Yeah, of my yeah. It's kind of cool. 
It's fun. Uh, we'll check it out. Yeah. Are there any te- yeah. are there any technical things in it that you look at and go, oh, I would just definitely do that different? Well, or? we shot it in black and white film and uh, on reversal film, which is tricky to expose. So there's a few scenes that are very blown out. Oh wow, yeah. But I like the way we photographed. All the people that I worked with are now on my show. Jesus. I mean, the crew that I assembled to do that movie. Right. I do my show with all the same people. Wow, is that out of same um, DP? No, because they loyalty, were great. Loyalty, or is it just they were good? I wouldn't hang on to anybody. That's <laughs> loyalty. Fuck them. Get out of here. That's good for a year. Tops. I'm loyal for a year. That's yeah. what you get. <laughs> but no, I've been with uh, Amy Silver, the production designer of my show, and Paul Kessner, the director of photography. They, we all started on that movie. When's the next season start? In the summer? May. May. Oh, wow. We're almost there. Wow, I remember Shit, when you were like, man. Ah, I'm taking some time I'm, I'm taking off. A year and off. that yeah. time off is done. It's gone. <laughs> it's pretty it's gone. much done. It sounds like he took advantage of it, though. I did. on a, a boat. Good, a great summer. Yeah. But yeah. now I'm, uh, yeah, I'm back at work. Uh, we made a hurricane for the show. We created a whole hurricane. It's, cra- it's Really? You know, it's the hardest thing I ever shot. Um, Can you explain? It's real. You're in. in and well, we kind of recreated what happened water with Sandy, but uh-huh. it's, it's more exaggerated. It's kind of crazy what happens. Oh, okay. Could you explain how you created a hurricane? Well, you use, uh, it, it all comes down to what exactly you're going to see in every right. shot. So uh, it's the only time I ever storyboarded, like drew pictures of mm. what I wanted to see. But uh, we use rain machines, which you just plug into a fire extinguisher. But we did it in the winter. So oh, I was getting rained on. Cold. <laughs> yeah, like 20 degrees. Yeah. Oh, shit. Jesus. And we shot on a stage. In, but the water's coming in from a hydrant outside. And it was literally like 10 degrees outside. Yeah. We couldn't stop the water running because it would freeze. Right. And you have, so like, I what, have water fans? being being like gushing onto my head. That's right about to freeze. That like, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and it literally, you know, when it's something so cold that it hurts. Yeah, yeah. My whole body, after every take, I I couldn't move my whole body. <laughs> wow. It's the hardest thing I ever did. Wow. Ooh. But and then we have wind machines, and uh, we had this big tub of water with a car sloshing around in it, and it was crazy. Are you yelling? Do you what? have to yell? Yeah, you have to yell like, when things are loud. People always do that when, like, there's a hurricane scene. It's a scene. hurricane! <laughs> We're gonna try to seek some shelter! Yeah. Actually, there's uh, a guy in the in the scene in one scene who's yelling, There's a hurricane! <laughs> I can't hear you because of the hurricane! <laughs> Just in case yeah. you don't get it, that's probably a good thing. That's right. Let the You're audience know. That. There's one scene, the last thing that actually that we shot, there's a scene where I'm on a street and I'm, I'm rescuing my somebody from on during the hurricane and we built a city street like you know in a, on a stage oh wow so it's in it's it, and it looks real but i realize there's nobody else around except for me and the characters <laughs> so i wanted a, a big guy in his underwear to run through the I, i'm giving away a lot but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah so i for, i called jay okerson and i <laughs> big jay i said where are you right now and he said indianapolis so he couldn't oh. do it like we we're shooting in an hour yeah. And then I, I the, my PA found this kid Adrian who's a comedian. I don't know his last name, but he's um he's in American Hustle for a second. Okay. And so he I called him and he lives in the Bronx and I said, "Can you come now?" So he ran down and he did it. But I had him yelling all this different shit and at one point I was going to have he's just yelling and I was going to have him yell Anthony because he <laughs> Anthony! <laughs> and I didn't do that when I forgot. Uh, to. Can I, by the way, the, here, here's the joy in that story. Here's yeah. the nugget. Big dumb Jay Okerson missed a shot to Beyond <laughs> Louie because he was fucking middling in Indianapolis. Shit. <laughs> 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 I think we gotta take another break. Uh, we go to ten thirty now. You sticking around? That's great, you know, man. A couple more minutes. Couple more minutes. All right, we'll finish. I have up. a big announcement I have to make. Right now, you oh, want to do oh, it, Jimmy? Yes, Let's got, do it, Jimmy. I have two sold out shows at the Borgata. Third one's on sale. The Late Show, mm. uh, DC Improv, six through eight of February and February twenty eighth. Uh, Pittsburgh Carnegie Music Hall. Mm. I couldn't repeat that back to you if you paid me a million dollars. And I would if you could. <laughs> right out. Be double plug in my ear and out my asshole. Well, you're missing, <laughs> you're missing a lot of laughs, and it should have went in the other way. <laughs> in the, start through the asshole, end up in the ear. It's a home run for me. <laughs> no freaks. The Opie and Anthony Show will be right back. On Sirius XM. In the meantime, think about, think about all their FU money. Clean the bowl with your sock. Opie and Anthony are back. Hi, 
hanging with Louis C.K. today. He's got a new movie that he did back in 1998 coming out tomorrow on his website. Uh, LouisCK.com, I think. Yes, sir. Okay. Or .net. They both. Or either. .net. So check it out. A lot of a lot of people you, you know and love in this movie from 1998. Mears. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. Um, and the show comes back in else. May. And May. the personal life is good. Yeah, my kids are uh, middle school, one of them, and wow. the other one is, uh, you know, third grade. I, I, I get advice from you when you come in. Yeah. My kid is finally in school. He's three and a half, doing that pre, 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 pre crap. Mm -hmm. But they don't celebrate holidays. They don't? No. You're, what school? What's the school? I'd rather not say officially. But oh, no, of course. <laughs> but is it a private school or a yeah, public oh, yeah, school? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But they can't even like they can't even bring gifts into the teachers because then all the kids will feel like left out because I they, can't afford uh, the gift, so the teacher will like but, the other kid better than me. But there was that's what they think is yeah. Uh, so there's all kind. There's always that stuff. I mean, I, yeah. my kids go to public school, and uh, there was one some controversy with a teacher gave another teacher a gift and their friends, mm. and uh, one of the. <laughs> Because the teacher had teacher number one had a kid in teacher number two's class, right? And uh -huh. so she gave her, but they're like best friends, also, right? She gave her a present, and one of the parents was like, "Wait a minute, you're not supposed to give preferential and so treatments." She, oh, she this is what drove me crazy. A parent anonymously, of course, because the parent gets to be anonymous, <sighs> filed a grievance with the school board and and <laughs> put this teacher's job in jeopardy. And this teacher, this is one thing I tried to say to these people is. You know, the teacher's been there for 25 years. Like, there's yeah. teachers in our school who have been taught by this teacher. We're passing through. When you're in a school, you're passing through. It's not... Every parents think that they can fucking decide... Like, everything is about their kid. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You know, the, the school has its own life. It's a thing. And, they, and they've and they been... They're responsible for the youth of the city in, sure. in waves. You're just one fucking wave. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't like it, just wait till you have another teacher next year. Right. You know? But people that want to exact, you know, uh, change in their, you know, this well, this is what I think should be. Ugh, yeah, well, you're Christ. one fucking person, and your kid is one kid in one class in one year of that one school. People don't know. think uh, that way. They, they're they very self-centered yeah. and think, you know, the world revolves around them. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. what I found myself yeah. saying to a lot of parents and stuff, people when they complain about stuff. Is like uh, I understand why you're angry about that, but I don't believe you're owed a remedy. <laughs> oh, bravo! <laughs> to, me, that's, to me, I wish like the president, the government would say this to people all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I I know that's frustrating for you, and that's a real <laughs> grievance from your point of view. But I don't believe that you are owed a remedy <laughs> by anybody owed. else. Yeah. Yeah. That's too bad. Uh, good luck. It's 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 driving me nuts. Like Halloween, no costumes. A memo came out. A friendly a, a friendly reminder that uh, this school, yeah. you know, you do not go to you know school with a costume on. Three and a half year olds for Halloween. Yeah. So we're like, all right, you're not going to school that day. Yeah, it sounds like a high minded private yeah, school. Maybe we fucking blew it with our choice. <laughs> you got, you got <laughs> plenty of time. Yeah, none of this right now matters. Right. Now. Yeah. Hey, it, preschool. I'm, it's a de it's a decent school in general. Yeah, it's just but somewhere for your kid to start. They used to call like they used to uh, have leader for the day. Yeah. And so, some parent, like you said, complained. Like some it. anonymous parent that you don't even get to see their face years ago. So now he's a host. He yeah. hosts for the day. That's better. That's what I'm saying. What What's the hosts? difference? We'd like it to be gayer. Can it be <laughs> <Right>. gayer? <laughs> leader is very butch. Because yeah, saying leader gives host? saying leader gives the wrong impression. And our whole wow, take on this on the on the show because we're obsessed with this shit is like, then the kids get in the real world. And it's important to be a leader and 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 sometimes, stand out. Yeah, yeah sometimes, exactly. right? Whatever. I mean, it's part of it. Or a good host. It's or, I still want to be a good host. Yeah. Sure. I think that's really. A good when thing is that really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But to baby these kids and then just throw them in the real world. What are we doing for them? Well, in the it's end? people. It's very narcissistic because people think that if they can make the 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 day in the school their ideal mm. they they're not looking at the kid at all they just assume all of society will now change because we're doing well this they don't even think here. that far they just that myopic they're like this is no what, one sees the big what picture I want ever. my kid no they don't yeah they don't I, I was driving in this morning and it, it 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 always astounds me when somebody's in the left lane and there's nobody in front of them 
It's mm-hmm. wide open highway. <laughs> Behind them, a fucking parade of cars that are one foot off of each other's bumpers. Everyone <laughs> beyond pissed off. It's harder not to notice that that's <laughs> right, going that's right, on right. than to just and and then cars are going whoa 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 around them and yeah. cutting them off and they're just looking straight one ahead. after another yeah. and they still not don't get, get it. it. They don't. I drove see once. anything that I astounds drove. you, but what astounds them is why you're yelling deleted scenes from Django out the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pete, uh, I was in a car with Nick DiPaolo once driving from oh, that's gotta be a Boston treat. to New York. This is not going to be a courteous story. <laughs> was, yeah, no, and you wouldn't believe how calm and patient he was. <laughs> uh, end of Nick. story. No, every time, that, every time that he was stuck behind somebody, he would flash his high beams and get the fuck out of the road. <laughs> yeah. And then whenever somebody was behind him flashing their high beams, he'd be like, fuck you, I'm doing the fuck. <laughs> speed limit. Right. I'm obeying the law. Fuck right, you. I have a right. right to be in this lane. Yeah, yeah. We're both same guy. Yeah, yeah. I, you know. I realize that isn't the thing to yeah. do. And if somebody comes up behind me, I, I, I'm always scanning the old mirrors. I'll pull over. Right. If someone wants to do 100 miles an hour, Whatever. why do I give a shit? Get out of the way. Right. Sure. I, I, also, speed limit. Fuck you. Right. But with do Nick, what you want. With Nick DiPaolo, it's a real case of uh, hooray for me, the hell with you. <laughs> that's, that's a really elegant way of putting it. My grandmother used to say that when somebody would Did speed she? bar, she absolutely would. Oh, really. oh wow. I'd jam Dumb a couple poor. of fingers in and fucking change her tune. Mm. There's also the... um. The uh, uh, police by proxy, the the pseudo police people that think they're they're going to enforce the law if mm. there's a traffic jam, and I decide I want to get on the shoulder right. and fucking tear up there <laughs> and pass all this traffic. You get the guy that moves over right. to block it. What uh-huh. use is that? Right. Why are you fucking? Blo- I'm willing to take the gamble <laughs> that I'm going to get fucking pulled over and get a huge ticket. I'm willing to take that gamble. Yeah. Just stay out of my fucking way. Yeah. That's you really when do they that? pull in? Oh, really yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're That's trying to be on your side, wow. but it's such a scumbag move. Hey, really it's a scumbag move, but it. I'm willing to do it. <laughs> I, <laughs> That's a great slogan. <laughs> I've got a scumbag move. But I'm, I'm willing, willing to, I'm do, willing it. to do it. Absolutely. That should be on a that should be on a bumper sticker yes, for there you. There was a van, yeah, in front of a schoolyard. Well, you know, as as amazed as you are by the people that sit in the left lane and do that, I'm amazed by the by the overwhelming flow and peace of traffic. It really is astounding when you think there's kind of nothing in between us and, and how it's how unbelievable. Less than often they really do bang that, together. Yeah, people aren't like just banging into the next car, <laughs> yeah. climbing in the window and eating everybody <laughs> in it, <laughs> taking whatever they can. One guy doing five miles an hour, one doing 150. Yeah, I don't know why it's There not should be worth. so it, many more accidents really every day. Is just kind of... and, and deliberate carnage right, right, and right, murder. Right. Just like how impatient we are and how terrible we are to each other you would think with yeah. these giant what? fucking transformers that yes. we're driving around in. even like tough looking <laughs> people people that look like criminals and are like on purpose <laughs> yeah yeah right. who have like you know fake bullet holes in the back window like you know people are like i am a criminal i think it's cool yeah, yeah. but they're they're signaling <laughs> they're checking their mirrors they're <laughs> seeing the heck out of the uh, out there. hov lane if they're not if they don't belong in it hey you see them they're in the lane when it turns to hov and oh blink oh, around <laughs> I should, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, there's get only one on there. Three teardrop tattoos, but I better, <laughs> yeah, you know, but, uh, better but, full, come to a full stop. <laughs> ten and two, ten and two, though. I did, I did another move coming off of the uh, parkway onto Old Country Road. They got that, like, clover leaf sure. off ramp thing, and it was packed. And, uh,. I just went on the grass and God cut completely it. across the clover leaf and popped up where the traffic was going onto Old Country Road and just like and th- and then I just I like put my hand out like hey you I'm getting in here right and then I just go in and I was I, off I, I used to drive with him amazing he, uh, I've never seen anyone pull more well, you moves know what than I do, when I do stuff like that when I do like sidewalks yeah. do you do sidewalks no yeah. I've never done he that. he does sidewalks oh, but whenever I've done things that I shouldn't be doing yeah and other people give me indignant looks uh-huh. I decide I I like own the fiction that there's an emergency <laughs> yeah. like I just because oh, yeah. like, like, they don't know they don't know that I'm not like that my kids not bleeding or something right so right. I decide my kids bleeding fuck you you have no You're right to judge me i never judge anyone making a move that could potentially get them killed mm-hmm. or a ticket because i'm like more power to you yep that and in new york you got a lot of situations where uh especially in like queens and stuff there, there's a, a truck 
trying to back into a loading dock. This will drive me fucking crazy because they take forever. I understand it's a difficult thing. Yeah. I'm not saying I could wheel that thing, whip that truck right in there, mm-hmm. but it takes a while. And now I'm sitting there. The first thing I'll do is look at cars parked on the side of the road and see if there's an opening. Then you go through there on the sidewalk, you drive a little way, and then you pop back down I've done around like the truck. Sure, sure. And then there's people, though, that will, if there's a car parallel parking or a truck backing in and, and we're in a line of cars that are waiting, mm. you don't have to wait until the truck is in the loading dock or the car's right. parked. Go around the it. second there's enough room, yeah, you go. Go. Why yes. the fuck wait? Oh, it's the thing is that <laughs> being in traffic, you're trying to move. You're moving at yes. a higher than human speed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which is easy to forget. You're moving well, faster than true. your body is capable of moving. Mm. So when you have to slow down or stop, you're at a distorted level <laughs> of anxiety. <laughs> I need to be moving. You I really do with you. And the moments that you're needing to wait for people to do a clumsy yeah. parking job are not going to change your life at all. You're going to just be waiting I longer at the next red that. light. That's cool. I've, that's I've called had, logic. That's weird. I've had people honk at me like as a yeah. pedestrian, like right. honk, yeah, yeah. and then I've done this where then I walk up, and then, then they honked at me, then they're sitting at a red light, and I'll walk up yeah. to their car and go, aren't you glad that you honked at me so you, you know what I tell? You know quicker? what I tell them? Because I got, had cars do that, too, where it's like, I go, bam, move, and they're like, good, fuck you, and then it stopped at a light, and he's like, yeah. see how far you got? I yeah. say, I go, if you were in my, I, we weren't in my way, I'd have made that fuck. Light. <laughs> That's so, usually so not true. So the pedestrian true. wasn't in my way. <laughs> it's usually not true. I'd have you made need the to fucking learn light. how to wait in life, but it's hard to do <laughs> it when you've been moving at it. I once was at a red light. I was on a motorcycle, and there I was like guy. three cars back from the intersection. This is an upper on the Upper West Side, and um, there was a truck. A guy in a truck trying to get... He was trying to screw through the intersection, like, illegally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a cab was sitting, like, waiting to make a left turn. The cab was in the right place, and the truck was trying to do something fucked up. Uh-huh. The cab did nothing, but the truck driver pulled up to the cab and spit on his window and cursed <laughs> at him. And everybody was like, what the fuck? And then the truck makes his left turn, and I watched him, and all I did was I shook my head just to myself. Uh-huh. I just shook my head, like... Barely, like, oh, wow, like you work up my another tongue. loogie for and you. He saw it <laughs> and slammed on his brakes and looked at me and said, "You got a fucking brace!" Started cursing Holy at me, and he shit. started getting out of his. He was going to fight wow, me, yeah. maybe kill me, right. maybe break my bones, maybe ki- have himself killed. <laughs> Because I barely, barely shook my head. Right. So far, I'm 100% on his side. <laughs> I'm with the trucker. And, and now, now just, just last week, I'm driving one of the side streets trying to get to the Midtown Tunnel. And uh, there's a bus, giant bus, stopped in the middle of the road. And I'm looking now because I instantly have to fucking know who's yeah. fucking this up. Yeah. And I look and I notice that there's no one in front of the bus. So the bus is stopped there for apparently no fucking reason, backing up traffic. And this is going on and on and on. And there's a cab parked next to the bus enough where if the cab moved, everyone could squeeze past. Sure. But the yeah. cab won't even fucking move. So I'm, I'm getting livid at this point. I get out of the vehicle. I start walking. I walk up to the bus. Jesus. I walk up to the bus and I, I bang on the door. And he goes, he goes, where would you like me to go? And points to a truck now that's off where I couldn't see, double parked, unloading some shit. Mm -hmm. And now the bus can't get through. Right. So I just look and I just went, I don't care. Move this vehicle. (laughs) (laughs) Did he laugh at you at that point? No, no. And the guy with the truck, because he heard me banging on the door and yelling, the guy that was double parked. So he got in his truck and moved enough to let the bus so everyone move. Can move on. So I, but I'm walking back to my my truck like, yeah, thank me, you motherfuckers! All that would have yeah. just been sitting here. Dude, the stress you give yourself on a I, daily basis. Really, you gotta, that's you gotta, not good. Exactly. You get somewhere fast when you're in the back of an ambulance. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fucking frightening. Let me say. Uh, let me say hi to <laughs> Jeremy in Cleveland. Jeremy, go ahead. Yeah, I was on the highway last night. Snowstorm. His asshole and SUV blew past me about a mile down the road. He hit the center divider wall. I pulled over, not to help him, but to laugh at him as he was all bloodied and busted up. Yeah, that's a that's, idiot, he that's great. Me. Yeah. So you had to rub it in. 
Yeah. yeah. Should have just yelled at him when he sped by. What are you rushing you to an accident or something? You know, you let him have it. Hey, hurry up and uh, yeah. hurt your car. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the guy that blocks you on the uh, on the shoulder. Oh, thing. really? Yeah, One yeah. of these guys. Yeah, Andy in Connecticut. Go ahead. Hey, asshole. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know, most I agree with most of your uh, your traffic and how mm-hmm. assholes on the road. Uh-huh. However. Here's the caveat. Here's the yeah. asterisk. Here it is. I got to take umbrage with Here this one thing. Hey. Problem? Hey, listen. You try to pass me to a breakdown lane on the right-hand side, I will block your ass every oh, time. Oh, go for it. Why? Why? Yeah, let's hear it. Why? What, what? You're just adding to the problem. Oh, he's no, getting mad. Oh, you just, oh, he's right. Okay, you're, oh. I know what you're saying. When I go to merge back in, I'm making more traffic, right? Right. I'm the only one doing it. You're not the only one. <laughs> yes, I am. I know you think you're God's gift to drive. You're blocking me. Now you're making me go in behind you where there isn't a spot. Meanwhile, I'd be going and wait because there's always an asshole that's going to leave a lot of room between the two vehicles. That's where I dart in. You're sneaking quick. That's also, what I'm... about you, sir? Because you uh, compound the problem yes. with your vigilante you uh, did. attitude. L- yeah. Lane, lane well, uh, patrolling. <laughs> yeah. All right, Louie, I agree with that. You know, so I shouldn't be doing it either. But I, I cannot. Yeah, it's old Paul Kersey of the fucking highway. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. All right, <laughs> all right, sir. Thank you. Uh, the, he uh, got in the lane. <laughs> and he, yes, he went on the shoulder. <laughs> And he raped my wife and daughter. <laughs> <laughs> now Matt's going to remind us of another thing you did. Oh, really? Go ahead, Matt. Hey, boys. Hey. hey Aunt, do you remember that time it was Justin Bieber was on Good Morning America? And oh, I want to fuck that kid. <laughs> <laughs> he's a man now, right? It's not. I it's think not he is. Anymore. He's nineteen. Yeah. Not fun. You're all right. Yeah, he's nineteen. Age. I'm going to fuck him. <laughs> Twinkish. And, and, and the cabbie was in front of Aunt and. Uh, you know how he keeps his hair up like that? It's my sperm. Is it your your I sperm? Come, I come on, I come on his hair every morning. <laughs> it, just, it, it does a great job. It's, it's very terrific. stiff. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> go ahead, sir. <laughs> Sorry, Louis. No big deal. Um, and Aunt, you physically rammed the cab and you shoved. It, it was Michael Bublé. It was Michael Bublé. It was Michael Bublé, right? And I just. Okay. Ju- Singer, he sings at a lisp. He has Michael Bublé was the leaving world on a string. the Today <laughs> Show. Can we play that for Louis? I was right in front of it, and there's a news clip of him coming out of, of uh, Good the Morning Today America or whatever the fuck. Today, today Show. show. Like I think it is and there's a show. video of him like signing autographs and the paparazzi's taking pictures, and all you hear is my horn going, man! <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear me yell, you piece of shit! <laughs> right. Because here's what happened. A guy, a guy jumped out of his car yeah. and just left the car in the middle of the road right, with a camera to get, a, or to get a pictures and stuff of Michael Bublé. That's and awful. he went, and I'm. I just laid on the horn and wouldn't stop, and I, I just called mm. him. At the, and then I, I, like, got up to his bumper with mine, yeah, and just, <laughs> I just started God. pushing his car out of the way. And oh he's like, hey, hey, hey! And then he got in his vehicle and and put it in gear, and then I, I got around. But him. the last shot you is you taking off in the escalator. You need to get, you need to get yeah. inside the margins because you're in, you're going to get in trouble. I love it. Oh, it's so much you're fun. You're going to. You're not quite in control of yourself. You don't think something you plus another no. factor that's not in your control. Besides right. You're you're gonna you're gonna do some time if you're not careful. <sighs> I know. I, I people I, that a lot. Most people that commit crimes didn't plan to do it. That day. <laughs> most people that end up in jail, it was a circumstance right. plus their un- inability to control themselves. Yeah, you're going to be incarcerated. I got. We just maybe I'll, we just think it's, it's going to happen. We just think it's fun. Just get inside the margins a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. No, At least straddle no, the margins. No, this is good for the radio show, though. I love it. <laughs> well, you still have plenty of stories it. to draw from. <laughs> yeah, past. I. Uh, <laughs> it's not good, though. No, no, no. Well, it's not. I'm trying to educate these people. Well, what about yeah. when you yeah, no. shoot debris that's... at other cars that did you wrong? Tell Louie about that one, too. No, that's a good one if somebody's and gravel and... in the lane. Yeah, you, well, the just the side of the highways, right. all that shit is they just got hanging those, out. Uh, they got those boot, boot, yeah. hole, like ditches, little little notches Wake up the in the road. Drivers. And if somebody's going too slow in the in the left lane and I pass them, if you put your wheels in those, they, <laughs> they load up with rocks. Right. And your, your tire literally sucks the rocks. Rocks out Jesus and Christ. blasts it at them. You're like a poor James Bond guy. <laughs> yes. Like, it's I oh need an God. oil slick and a smoke screen. Here's oh the Michael God. Buble clip. I don't know if it'll do. Uh, is this the one? I don't know if it'll do it justice, but you might hear Ant's. Uh, let me. Let me. Can you hear the background? Yeah. You hear it? I hear the horn. That's it. 
Three dollars on eBay. You can't hear him cursing, though, right? I think you can. Right when the horn stops, I yell it. Oh, you want to piss her? It's one. One guy. Hey, shit! Hey, shit! Hey, shit! Yes, I heard it. Hey, shit! That's amazing. Yeah, I was very angry. That's Michael Bublé. Oh, I just bah! He pissed me off so bad. He was trying to take video. I, this might be his video. How weird well is that? Be. That's a nightmare. Your whole life yeah. is like a combination of Barfly and Bobby Deerfield. <laughs> <laughs> I, I live a little too close to uh, one of the tunnels. Oh, and wow, like yeah. on Friday nights or Saturday nights when everybody's trying to, if I'm it's... sleeping at three in the morning and the whole, everybody's trying to get out of the city. Yeah. There's often somebody leaning on a horn and it's a half a block from me. But there's been a few times I've actually sat up in bed and contemplated, <laughs> I'm going to fucking put on my pants and bundle up. You bundle up. And go and find that car, and I'm going to fucking hurt And get up, somebody. And pull out one of the big knives from the, uh, yeah, just the cutlery set and, right. and stab him. Yeah. I yeah. went after these kids once. The one I think that's most I've ever scared another person. <laughs> I was coming home and there was these college kids because there's some nightclubs in my area. These college looking kids, you know, clean cut out for a party night. Sure. And they were one of them was down in the stoop of my neighbor's uh, house pissing on. Uh, oh, you know, man. He's pissing, yeah. But he's pissing on somebody because people live. That's a, like a basement apartment. Right. He's just pissing on someone's front door and on their stoop. That's <laughs> their this house. Kid, yeah. That's and where they live. I came up behind him and I said, you're not fucking pissing on somebody's house right now. And his friend was waiting for him. And the kid quickly did his pants up and they were so scared. I think from their point of view, they're like these college kids, uh -huh. and they're in scary New York, and they right, thought right, I was right. like they thought I was like black, basically, because <laughs> I'm in New York City, and they're like, "Sir, we're very sorry," and I go, "That's a person's fucking house." You're an adult, you piece of shit. Since you saw that they Why were scared, you jumped on it. Why does someone have to tell you not to? What if I pissed on your <laughs> fucking house? You fucking fuck. What kind of a person are you? I just kept screaming. Nice. Kept That's going. my neighbor's fucking house. We're very sorry. We didn't know. You didn't know what? <laughs> right. That you're pissing on someone's front fucking door. You fucking animal. Because I see it all the time. Right, so I'm yelling right. at about a thousand people. Now let me ask you this. What would you have said if you turned around and said, fuck you? You old man. I I would have been like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was never gonna get violent. You know? Right, right, not, right. Not yeah. worth that. Oh, Keith sorry. the cop used to uh, when he was uh, <laughs> patrolling and saw anybody pissing, he'd go up behind him, real kind of quiet, and just push his foot on their ass and push them mm -hmm. so they piss all over themselves. That's great. <laughs> it was that's a great, great. Move. And then they see it's a cop and they yeah, can't do anything. That, yeah, because then they get pissed, turn around, and it's a fucking cop, so that's you can't do anything great. anyway. You just gotta fucking that kind of piss on great. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Nick uh, DiPaolo had a friend who was a Miami vice cop, and he was a plainclothes detective, oh, wow. and he carried a, a piece everywhere. Yeah. And uh, he was a really rageful guy. Oh, shit. So he was like you in traffic, <laughs> but he would, he would at, if somebody pissed him off a little bit, then he'd get in a game of provoking them. Uh huh. Until, and he'd keep provoking and provoking until they did something where he could stop his car and fucking smash their window in with his weapon <laughs> and the rest of them. He did it all the time. Wow. Like, I mean, wow. Work every day with, okay, who did you arrest today? Uh, shit. Because wow. he slightly cut you off, so you cut yeah, him off, flipped right. him off until you did something, and then, yeah. Until, wow. Yeah, that's great. Woo! That guy's a fucking hero. That's, <laughs> that's, that's guy's a great hero. American. That's, that's an, an animal. National treasure. All right, we got to get Louie out. Yeah, well, look at the time. So long, fellas. Crazy. Thank Louis, thanks for Fuck coming you, in, man. man. Oh, really you know, I drop my kid good. off. I write Jimmy Norton. I say, you know, I say, hey, you're on the air, I ask him. Yes. He writes back, sure we are. And then we write, of course, we wrote a few saucy things. Oh. Friends, you know, we're we'll comedians. To read that. Yeah. It's the F word a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, just throwing barbs at each other, you know. <laughs> hey, <laughs> bet, bet, you, bet you look like you fell through an awning or something. Ah, yeah, just, yeah. yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, how's your, how's your, uh, how's your ugly mug doing you there? Oh, fuck. Hey, having fun? Tell you face uh back and forth <laughs> no, just you wouldn't believe it yeah uh, put, hey, we'll put a hair on your ends uh, what All yeah right. oh, i got an idea for your show 
<laughs> yeah, all that stuff like that. <laughs> oh, it's about oh. some guy that talks hey. to a college student about urinating, and the guy pisses in the old guy's mouth. Yeah. That's my watch, idea. watch what you say. He'll put it on his TV show. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, watch. Oh God! Remember uh, that? Like uh, we might get like, that. Hey, he's got a radio show. Watch what you say. Watch what you say. Uh, You'll uh, end up on one. his show. I'm like, no. There's no, nothing you could no. say right. that will right. end up except on the this show right now. Yes, except this right mm, here. Yes. A good so, example. LouisCK.com and yes. uh, LouisCK.net. Five dollars. It's a very cheap amount to pay for nice. a movie. And you know, it's the same as the other stuff I saw on my website. You get the movie. You can use it any way you want. There's nice. no digital restrictions. Please can we don't, re-edit it. Please don't pirate it, because <laughs> then I can't release stuff like this anymore. If Aww. you pirate it. And uh, we won't email your body. It's just very simple. Cool. And it's a movie you did in 1998. 98. So that'll be uh, very interesting. Yeah. I'll it's at least at. $5 worth of fun. All right. That's sure. fair enough. At least. It's it, worth it. Uh, if you don't want to, then just pirate it later. <laughs> <laughs> when it doesn't matter anymore. Please don't. <laughs> right. That's right. Please don't do that. Not Thank immediately, you. please. And Jimmy? I have Atlantic City. Uh, one show left. February 15th. The Late Show. 1030. At the Borgata. I'm going at to the that. the Borgata. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. going both days. My Me, my whole family's going down there. We're going to have a, a pisser, as well, they say. And he's, uh, next Thursday through Saturday, February 6th through 8th, Jimmy will be at the Washington, D.C. Improv. Well, 6th and 7th. 8th is sold out. Oh. The 8th is sold out? Yeah, 6th and 7th. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you can still get tickets to the eighth. Well, there might be a lot of those reservations. Yeah. So those are going to get canceled. A couple hundred <laughs> singles might pop up, you know, as they say. Yeah. My agent will say that when I look at the count. I'm like, but Peter says there's 400 Friday tickets. And February 28th at um, uh, Carnegie Car- Music Hall. Carnegie Pittsburgh. Music Hall, not Carnegie Hall. Let's be no. very clear. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be crystal clear. Yeah. The fact that it's in Munn Hall, Mun Pennsylvania. Hall, Pennsylvania. I'm pretty, how do you get to the Carnegie Hall? Not go to Munn Hall. Exactly. Really Mun that Hall. Way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking drop your high school education and fucking work in a studio. Why would they call it that, I wonder? Because they, they just think it's that fancy takes, sounding. Well, that takes Carnegie, balls. Uh, he was a Pittsburgh guy. Yeah. Andrew uh, Carnegie. Oh, he was. Pittsburgh. There's a lot of Carnegie places in Pittsburgh. Oh, oh okay. Carnegie but, Mellon. Uh, like, as a as an entertainment kind of complex to Carnegie Hall thing, I There's think they should limit car- it to yeah. just one. Well, I mean, yeah, one. New one. York one. Yeah, yeah, if you want to have, you know, the Carnegie fucking, you know, garage and gas station, that's fine. But I, the Carnegie Hall. But Carnegie Hall, you should probably just leave yeah. to New York City. I like working at Carnegie Hall. Yeah. I'm not picky about the state it's in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be doing a, 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 a franchise. Put that in my yeah, bio. Yeah. Has done a Carnegie Hall. <laughs> right. Right. A, a Carnegie Hall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Louis, uh, thank right. you, mate. This was right. a pleasure. Oh, See you soon. Me. All right, we're oh, out. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we're done. We're good. The OP and Anthony show has drawn to a close. Stay tuned to reflect, reflect, relive, and get the story behind the story of the finest moments of today's show. Sam Roberts, OP and